What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beta, and I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome to a brand new episode of Avengers Assemble. Where I take a look at a brand new character and tell you if they're worth getting or worth passing. Because it hasn't been a requested and yelled at me enough. Because I'm a busy man and can't record all the time. Anyways, PvP Season 21 is out because they decided to cancel the preseason. Bringing with them, of course, we've known who it is for a while because they've announced him actually quite some time ago. It's Deathlock. Or at least a Deathlock. Uh, fun note in trivia, Deathlock is actually not a character, but more of the just name of characters. Uh, more specifically, this is the Marvel Now Deathlock incarnation, who is Henry Hayes. Henry Hayes was a combat medic in the U.S. Army who lost his leg in a suicide bomber attack. The Biotech Corporation gave him a new synthetic leg, but unbeknownst to Henry, they added far more than just a new leg. Biotech had turned Henry into a Deathlock, a cyborg assassin. Using a trigger word to control Henry, they sent him to several ah, special operations, wiping his memory after each mission. With the help of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Henry's sympathetic Handler, Deathlock has managed to break free of his mind control and seeks to put an end to biotech. God damn it, Skynet, now they're reaching out to people. Anyway, so he is currently the PvP reward hero. He is a blaster with focuses on attack, defense, and health with low stamina, accuracy, and evasion. Bullet Sponge, taking significantly less damage from gun attacks. Combat analysis, applies combat data to any enemy that attacks reducing accuracy and evasion, and increasing the chance for critical hits. Cybernetic, he's immune to bleeding, burning, chilled, and obsolete tech. Very high crit resistance. His attacks are as such the biotech, uh, is that S1 or SI, or Cyrife, I don't know. Rifle, a one enemy ranged gun attack. It gets combat assessment. Deals extra, mm, deals de- eh, Deals extra damage against targets with combat data. The Biotech Laser Mount, an all enemy ranged energy tech. It exploits shields and applies melt armor and shield breaker. Suppression Grenade is a one enemy ranged explosion fire that is a quick action. It causes exhausted and neutralized. Finally, the Biotech Launcher is an all enemy ranged gun explosion with a two round cooldown. I'm just going to breeze through. Yeah. Okay, Suppression Grenade also had a run-around cooldown. I just thought I'd mention that. I forgot about that. Anyways, it's a with a two-round cooldown. It has Boon Buster. Deals increased damage against targets with Strength and Fortified, Focused, Agile, Shield, or Regain Effects, Deadly Crits, and Removes Buffs. So, from what I can tell, uh, Deathlock... I want to say he's more kind of a... He's a supportive offense because he doesn't really have a big move that'll cause a lot of damage unless you get a lot of combat data on someone and fire away with the biotech rifle I'm just gonna skip those whatever those are uh, aside from that his ability to such like remove shields cause exhaust and neutralized get rid of buffs like it seems very kind of supportive so he can cause some damage but his main role is to more or less control buffs and everything like that. Which is decent, I suppose. Much like this series is known for, this is only a first impression, so... Uh, I will probably know more about him once I get hands-on with him. But I probably won't see hands-on with him for quite some time. Probably after the next two PvPs, because the next one will get Victor, so... He seems pretty decent so far, though. Uh, his ability to basically wipe out all the buffs of an enemy team does seem rather unique and very good. I mean, Rescue can do it too, but Rescue doesn't have the offensive capabilities he has. I can't really think of any weapons that could combo with his combat assessment. I know there are some, though, that do apply combat data. I just can't think of any off the top of my head. So already he's got decent team-ups with the agent thanks to uh, those weapons, but aside from that, he seems pretty okay, but you know my, you know how I usually stand on PvP heroes. Boy, is that a video all in, in <laughs> all, <laughs> all on its own. Anyways, 
So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.